In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add your system I.O. website to Google Search Console. And also, how to index your blog URL pages, including important pages that you like Google to crawl. Alright, so first, we need to go and search for Google Search. Okay, right here, Google Search Console, and click on it. Alright, so this is a page. It's nothing fancy. It's just simple and straight to the point. So click Start Now. Alright, so you need to sign in with the Google account and click on Next. Now, you need to add your password. That is your Gmail password for this email address. And click on next all right so in my case i have an account already so it just logged me in but in your case if you don't have an account you just have to follow the steps it's just simple and after you're gonna be logging all right so now i'm in so what i'll do this is my website all right and i'll go in okay so make sure you choose the right website so in this case i'll select this one which is the only website i have anyway on system io i have funnel pages but that is different from blog website or the traditional website this is my funnels this is different okay so let's go here so this is what you want google to index not your funnels all right so i have to go in all right and go to page Oh, by the way, so these are the blogs I have posted so far. Victory AI, System I Review, Record App Review. Okay, so you can check them out. So go back to pages and all right, so we need to find home page, which is this one. So if you don't know how to set up your blog website, I have a tutorial on it. I'll drop a playlist in the description box. All right, so look for home page and go all the way to the right and hover over the menu, which is the three dots and click on edit. Okay, so under edit, go to settings okay and you scroll down and you click on edit header code okay don't forget this edit header code so click on it then go to google search console all right so now we need to add property okay so to do so click on yeah in your case if this is your first time you will not have all these things here all right and you just have to add property all right so click on this so so far these are the two websites i have but in your case if you don't have anything you just have to add okay so it's gonna be just this add property this is the only thing that will show if you don't have an account so click add property all right so here you you have two options you can add your domain which is all urls across all subdomains or url across https and http requires dns verification all right so i don't want to go with this route go with this one okay which is the url prefix only urls under entered address only urls under specified protocols protocol and allows multiple verification methods okay so because of this allows multiple verification methods that's why i like using this one so i'll click on this and i'll go here all right actually so i'll go to my website all right so this is my website all right so double click this highlight everything and right click copy and go back to search console and drop it here Control v or right click to paste and the forward slash this one you can take it off all right or you can leave it it's up to you i like to take it off then click on continue all right so you're gonna end up on verify ownership okay that is why we open this page okay so we will come back to this again so let's go back so you have options the html file you have the html tag and google analytics all right so i'm not going with this option this is good with uh wordpress and stuff like that like heavy html websites so you can with that you have to download and upload it there then save then after you come back here and verify but we are not in this tutorial i'm not gonna use it because i'm using website builder so i prefer this one html tag all right and i'll show you the reason why copy the meta tag below and paste and paste it into your site's home page okay which is what we have okay this is the home page and remember okay let me go back and i'll show you i just want to take my time to show you step by step so you see this is the home page all right and i edit all right so don't click on settings if you click on settings there's nothing there all right so edit all right then click on settings here this is where you click your settings let's go back it should go in the header section before the first body section okay so let's go back so this is the header section okay so edit header code so go back and copy this okay it's copied to clipboard then go back here oh sorry yeah all right click on it and Control v to paste it click here 
right click paste okay and save all right so it's save and make sure you save it here again save okay now we have to go back to google search console go back here and click on verify good all right so ownership has been verified because this shows to google that this website is mine once i've been able to get into the settings part of this website okay that means i have access to this website it's not like i copied the url from somewhere and i just drop it all right so let's go back and i'll click go to property all right so as you can tell it has changed to this you can tell from the first one i have my logos right but with this i have system io logo so i'm gonna change that okay let me see what's the message get started using google search console with this all right so let me close it to change that this is bonus all right and if you are watching up to this timestamp, it's good for you all right so as you can tell we have background that's not what we want background image we don't want that if you click on background image gonna change the whole thing so scroll down later on i'm gonna come back here and add a whole bunch of stuff yes one more one thing i would like to do as well you see how it says uh sorry home page here i don't want that i want uh so instead of home page i'll change it to the website name which is success page so this will change to success page when i'm done all right now the next thing is description of your website keywords okay so with the keywords uh i don't want to do that now that's not the reason why i want to do this author's name i can say success all right so success page is the author's name because so I'm, I'm trying to brand this website and all right so with the keyword let's say for now, I'll say digital marketing. I'll say video editing. Because these are topics I'll be writing about. And AI tools. All right. I'll say affiliate marketing. All right. Affiliate marketing is still under digital marketing, but people don't really type for this. All right. So let's move on. These are extra stuff I'm trying to add. Okay. All right. So here I'll say how to make money via digital marketing. All right. Just a simple description, but I can come back in future to change if I want to. All right. So let's get to the main reason why I got here. So to change this, I'll add my logo. So click here. So under social image, click, click on uh, the cloud and uh, then you have to upload it. Okay. You can use Canva. Okay. Let me show you quick. See, you can use Canva to create all your images. Okay. I have tutorials on it too, but I have done, this is it. I've done it already. So I'll close it and I've uploaded this file already so i'll go to my files so your files all right so this is it so i'll click on it and it's gonna pop here and insert all right so social under social image you can tell the file is there okay now and one thing i like to do when i name it i like to add keywords so you can tell all right so click on save and i like to say one more time save again all right so now let's see if i refresh if it's gonna change all right so the success page has changed but this one is not changed and oh let me go here settings uh, settings so click on upload click to upload all right so is this one and open okay okay save all right so go back here okay so refresh it's up here now you know how to change that thing all right so i'm happy i've been able to crack it through this tutorial and not doing it outside this tutorial all right so let's go back you saw the process okay so you go to your icon you go to settings then under settings you go to custom domain then under custom domain you choose your site domain name okay then hover go to settings then from settings you just change the favicon okay so that's how you change that so let me go back all right so edit edit on page all right so we are back here and let me go in edit okay so we're done with this so let's go back this i'm done with it okay so i will just uh close it all right so moving on now i will show you how to index important pages on your website like your blogs your courses or whatever you have that you want to index all right so let's go to the website okay like the settings we've done with that all right so under the home page i scroll down and let's say for instance this blog post i'll open in a new window 
double click and highlight everything copy and i'm gonna go to google search console all right so make sure you have your site here okay and underneath this logo is still there but i know with time we're gonna change anyhow underneath uh go to url inspection click on it and paste it okay then enter see your url is not on google okay so you have to index it so to do that request index so this might take a minute or two but i know it's gonna be faster than that but regardless i'm gonna all right index is requested so got it okay now we're gonna have to we are on url inspection so i'm gonna go back okay close this right click this one okay and double click this is another tutorial uh, review Control c to copy sorry then click on here paste it enter okay same thing then you click on url is not on google so request index so requesting index for this as well submitting request all right so got it so indexing requested to say url was added to a priority queue submitting the page multiple times will not change its queue position or priority so don't keep sending it once you send it it's gonna be in the same queue okay so got it all right so you see the check mark all right so let's do the last one because i have three uh blog posts so right click open a new tab so double click this highlight Control c to sorry Control c to copy go back to search console and still under url inspection inspection so control v let's go all right so it's not there as well because this website is new request indexing all right so it's doing its thing during the testing indexing issues were detected with the url view live test so let's see what's going on your url will be indexed only if certain conditions are met so this crawl no index detected in robots metata so now we have to go under this page okay and find out what we've done wrong so i'll go and all right so when i check everything is okay here so i'll go to the editor like i said earlier on and i'll find the article which is this one click on it and inside this article you need to go to settings then on settings oh sorry settings so scroll down and this is a problem hide from search engines i don't know why system i or set it up like that they want you to do it manually because they are assuming you don't want your pages on google or whatever or in the search engine so please make sure when you create your pages you come to settings and come to hide from search engines and take this off almost all your pages unless you don't want it to appear on search engines like when you create courses and you don't want people to have access to it because you're trying to capture email addresses and all that all right that i understand but either than that if it's a blog or home page whatever please take off this all right so make sure you save okay and save again that's what i like doing i like to save again and again all right so now let's go back to google search console and all right so let's click here one more time and this is it click on it and request indexing and let's see what's gonna happen all right so it's doing its thing it says a minute to two but i know it's less than that and guess what it works all right so indexing requested url url was added to a priority crawling queue submitting the page multiple times or not okay all right so we click on got it all right so I've submitted all my pages so that means google will crawl it okay now this will not work this will take time okay so you just have to be patient all right so as you can tell everything is gone all right so it's no more red okay now when everything is crawled all this gonna change okay like this ones you know it used to be red and all that everything will change so now it's in the process and i don't know how long this thing takes let's find out let's see how long google takes to index my site let's see all right allow at least a week after submitting a sitemap or submitting to index request before assuming a problem so right now we have to let it be if there's a problem google will send you a message through the email address you use to sign in all right so this is the end of the tutorial thanks for your time please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel